My name is Tracy and I work for the West Virginia University Extension Service Family Nutrition Program and I am here today to teach you how to make fruit crisp. Now before we get into the kitchen we always want to make sure to wash your hands with warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds. I've gone ahead and done that before I got started so that we could jump right into the recipe. So the fruit crisp is one of my favorite recipes to make in the summertime because different fruit comes on throughout the season and we can use any kind of fruit for this recipe. So because it's currently blueberry season, I'm going to use a cup and a half of blueberries and a cup and a half of apples. So I like to mix these two flavors together. I also like the different textures that we get from the blueberries and the apples together. So using a baking dish, you can use a nine by nine, um, or this one is like a one and a half quart um, stoneware. I like to use this because I can put the lid on when we're done and store the leftovers. You can also use individual cups or um, cupcake liners. This is great if you're working on portion control and you want to um, just kind of have a little bit at a time instead of being tempted to take maybe more out of the casserole dish. So you can use um, cupcake liners or you can use the um, casserole dish. So we are going to wash and prep our fruit. So I've already washed and taken the stems off of our blueberries. I'm going to go ahead and put those in and then I peeled and cored and sliced my apples about that thin. So as you can hear my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to add all of my fruit in here. You want a total of three cups. And like I said, you can use any combination. Strawberries, peaches would be delicious. Um, our raspberries are getting ready to be ripe to pick. And um, so really any kind of fruit that you'd like, about three cups. So once we've combined that, we're going to add our tea tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of flour and a tablespoon of white sugar. The flour is going to thicken the juices from our fruit as it bakes. So you're going to want to gently stir, break up, um, like these apple slices are kind of sticking together here. So we just want to get everything nice and stirred. And we want everything coated in a little bit of flour and a little bit of sugar to take some of that tartness out. All right, so once we have our fruit combined, we can work on our delicious crispy topping. So for our topping, you're gonna need a bowl, one half cup of old fashioned oats. You don't wanna use the little quick oats, we want the nice big um, chunk. Oats are a great way to add fiber um, because it is a whole grain, has lots of fiber and helps our bodies. We're gonna use a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna stir all of this together and it's gonna make a thick kind of crumbly topping that we can add to the top of our baking dish here. So I'm just gonna stir until all that goodness is combined. You can get creative with the spices. If you like a little nutmeg, you can add some of that. If you have some apple pie um, seasoning, you could do some of that. So you're just going to combine just until our oats are moist and the sugar is all combined. And then we're going to take our topping mixture and we're going to evenly distribute it on top of our fruit mixture. So I'm just gonna kinda dabble it around here. This smells so good. I'm excited. If you're gonna be using the um, little individual ramekins or the um, uh, cup 
cupcake liners, you can go ahead and maybe just do um, a heaping spoonful of fruit and then like a teaspoon or so, tablespoon of the oat mixture. Um, and then go ahead and bake that in the oven. So if we're using a large one, we're gonna bake this for about 45 minutes. Um, the moisture from our fruit is gonna release, the flour is gonna help it thicken, and the top is going to brown and be crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven, and I'll let you see what it looks like when it comes out. I've taken my fruit crisp out of the oven, and it smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and I let it cool a little bit. Um, you want to serve it warm. I think it tastes better warm, but you can also eat it cold. And this will serve six. So I try to kind of picture half and then in thirds. And we can scoop it out. The colors are beautiful. And I'm getting my whole, my whole one-sixth portion here. So this was the apple and blueberry with our oats on top. I hope you enjoy making this recipe and enjoy your summer.